Hey guys, today I'm showing you an installation video for the Cineed filter system made for the 5B. And so I'm going to cut it open and show you what we've got in the packaging. Okay, so what you get in the kit is the front base plate, the rear base plate that connects to the carburetor, the four compression tubes, and the four bolts that go through and hold the two base plates together. You also get these scalloped washers that sit in the base here and so this kit, this filter can be used with the TS motors and the CYs and R motors. So the, there's two different ways of putting these washers which means that it's going to give it a nice snug fit and if you want to also mount it to the BZM motors you have to mount this pl uh, plate upside down so it clears the cage right and then you also get the Tecumseh uh, 36905 filter and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're using the genuine filter because this base plate has been machined for a snug fit and anything else could lead to sand getting or dirt getting into your motor and therefore ruining your motor so make sure you are using the genuine filter and you can tell by saying it's got the name there Tecumseh and the number there 36905 and it's made in Mexico so make sure you're using that filter with this unit okay so now we're going to go ahead and take the cage off and I'm actually using Cameron's Baja for this video because I've already got a Senad filter system installed on my car so take the cage off for easy access to the filter. Cameron was actually running a threshold filter system but he like, he wants the um, Cineed one on there now so I'm just going to take this filter off now. Right. Just remove the other bolt there and now all your carbon is going to come loose so just make sure you've got all your washers and uh, gaskets when you put the filter, new filter back on so you don't have any air leaks Okay, so these are the uh, washers that sit in the in the uh, base plate that connects to the carburetor, and the scallop side has to sit closest to the intake. And for the C Y Zanoa mount up, the the left side has the hole low, and the right side has the hole high. But if you're running a T S motor, the left side is high, and the right side is low. Okay, so this is how the washers are going to sit. And now we're ready to put the base plate onto the carburetor. But first, all, first off, I have to put some blue Loctite on these uh, carburetor bolts that go through to the engine head. And just to avoid it getting loose and getting some sort of air leak, which could lead to damage to your motor, which no one wants. Right, so now we're going to mount the base plate to the carburetor and the easiest way is to put the bolts through the holes and then start putting on your gaskets and spacers like that and then through the carburetor and then last gasket on
Now that's done, we're going to stick on the filter. I like to use a bit of rubber grease because it is a snug fit, it's machined like that. So just get your rubber grease and spread it around the edges. Like, like so, all the way around. And now you, what you want to do is chuck it on. Still being careful because this is quite a snug fit. Okay, so the filter is sitting in the base plate nicely and the end of the, the rubber end of the element should be lining up with the edge of the base plate so it's a snug fit and you know it's even all the way around. So now we're going to stick the front plate on and that should, that's a lot easier to put on compared to the rear and that just slides over the end there and that's all good. And now what we're going to do is get the compression tube and that sits in the, between the plates like that and then the bolt comes through the end like so and gets tightened up. Another one down here. And that's going to clamp it really nice and it's going to keep it even. And these compression tubes are machined, so this is a snug fit. And now we're going to do the other side. So now we're going to do the uh, other side of the com with the compression tubes and the bolt. So that goes through. Okay, that's the installation done with the CNAD filter on the uh, Baja 5B. Um, just a couple of tips, don't oil this filter, because if you do, it will ruin your filter and most likely your motor. So, oil free, make sure you use the genuine Tecumseh 36905 paper filter unit, and enjoy the life of no more oiling.